Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about applications of psychological testing in various settings. Psychological tests find numerous applications in the field of clinical, organizational and business, education, counseling, military and career guidance. These tests by assessing various mental abilities and attributes of an individual helps in the development of these fields. Psychological test in clinical setting is guided by three models of mental health which are information gathering model, therapeutical model and differential treatment model. The purpose of clinical test is to assess the presence of symptoms of psychopathology. Examples of clinical assessments include the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory, Merlin Clinical Multiaxial Inventory 4, Child Behavior Checklist, Symptom Checklist 90 and the Beck Depression Inventory. Industrial and organizational psychology is a field that applies psychological principles to work-related issues. In case of business organizations, psychological tests are used mainly at two stages. First in the pre-employment phase and second in the form of various performance appraisal tools done after the employment. There are several applications to psychometric tests in an organizational context which are recruitments, organizational planning, employee engagement, training and development, and performance evaluation. The Society for Industrial and Organizational Psychology, better known as SIOP, says that there are hundreds of psychological tests available to help employers in making decisions. But there are essentially just three different types of psychological tests used in the workplace. They are biographical data instruments which often seek information on a candidate's leadership and teamwork skills, interpersonal skills, extraversion and creativity through the use of questions about education, training, work experience and interest to predict success on the job. Cognitive ability tests, also called as aptitude tests, which typically use questions or problems to measure a candidate's ability to learn quickly and use logic, reasoning, reading comprehension and other mental abilities that are important for success in many different jobs. Personality tests, which try to measure a person's extraversion, consciousness, openness to new experience, optimism, agreeableness, service orientation, stress tolerance, emotional stability, and initiative or proactivity. The psychological test for the workplace may go by various names and some tests may combine elements from one or more of the above listed types of test, but most type of psychological assessment or types of workplace assessment fall into these categories alone. Psychological tests play an important role in educational setting and their role is likely to continue to increase in future. Assessment has always been an integral part of education. Assessment is generally taken as synonymous to evaluation in the areas of psychology and education which has essentially become a passive concept. The modern requirements are that of educators playing a more positive role in assessing the students and offering counseling, guidance or mentoring to them as well. Assess mentoring is a science which involves careful and objective measurement of behavioral, psychological and educational attributes of the students and mentoring the students by providing them with active feedback and support based on the previously mentioned type of assessment. Such assessment begins at the entrance test level and includes the assessment of abilities, personality assessment and assessment of career, 
guidance and placements. The key benefits of using psychological tests in school are it identifies weakness and strengths, supports individualized lesson plans, enables placement decisions, and monitors progress. Counseling psychologists try to gain understanding of how each individual thinks, feels, and acts to help individual to make informed choices in the field of education, career, and social relations. More than 80% of counseling psychologists report that they use interviews and observation to collect data about clients. Counseling psychologists regard using the interview as an assessment technique which is central to their professional identity and they believe that it is one of their most important job functions. The tests used most frequently by counseling psychologists include objective and projective personality test, individually administered tests of cognitive functioning, vocational interest test, and brief scales to assess specific symptomology. The tests that are most frequently used by counseling psychologists to measure cognitive functioning are the Weschler's Adult Intelligence Scale 3, Weschler's Intelligence Scale for Children 3, and the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale. The Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory 2 is the most widely used test for objective personality assessment. The Bender Gestalt Visual Motor Test and various forms of the Draw a Person Test provide projective assessment of personality and cognitive functioning. The most frequently used projective functionality tests are the Rorschach Ink Plot Test, Thematic Eperception Test, various forms of the Sentence Completion Test, and the House Tree Person Test. Military psychology refers to the research, design, and application of psychological theories and data for understanding, predicting, and countering behaviors in friendly and enemy forces or in civilian population. The psychological tests help in describing, explaining, predicting, and modifying military behaviors. Weeks, months, and years of active military service can often lead to emotional and mental stress for both military personnel and their loved ones. The military men and women aren't the only ones that suffer. Family members and loved ones are often affected by being separated for long periods of time which can add to the mental anguish. Psychological testing hence focuses specially on treatment of stress and fatigue of military personnel and their families. This might involve performing psychiatric evaluations, assessing and treating mental and emotional disorders, and offering counseling services. Psychological tests can help to assess, diagnose, treat, and recommend duty status, which is most suitable for optimal well-being of individual, group, and organization. The famous Military Institute of India for psychological research and testing are DIPR, which is Defense Institute of Psychological Research, which is dedicated to military psychology, is the nodal agency and technical headquarters for the selection of officers for the armed forces. This is the only institute in the country that provides technical assistance to the armed forces in ensuring person job fit. The next one is the Armed Force Medical College which has the Department of Psychology which was established in 1970 by Professor Major S. P. Chatterjee. Psychological testing in career guidance involves the assessment of different measures such as an individual's interest or personality can influence career development and counseling giving both 
the individual and the career counselor useful information for decision making today the strong interest inventory is an icon of career assessment and it illustrates many important ways by which individuality can be measured to give meaning to career decisions some of the tools for the career counselors are comprehensive interest inventory with broad and specific measures comprehensive personality inventory identifying strengths in normal people comprehensive confidence inventory with broad and specific measures measure of work and life values measure of career in decision life satisfaction or well-being measure job or college satisfaction measure measure of career maturity measure of career decision making self efficacy and career goal setting inventory i hope you like this video do share and subscribe thank you